Dr. Mohammed Al Muraktan. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Dr. Muhammad actually uh, was preparing his lecture in Arabic, but when he saw the composition of the audience plus the speakers, actually will speak to us in English. Thank you so much for the last minute conversion. Mm -hmm. And the title of his lecture is A Female History in Ancient Palestine. Uh, Dr. Muhammad Al Muraktan is from the University of Heidelberg in Germany. He is a specialist of ancient Semitic languages and in particular, ancient South Arabian epigraphy. Currently, he is working on the publication of Sabaic inscriptions recently discovered in Al Ma'rib uh, in Al Yemen. He published extensively on culture and inscriptions of South Arabia. His most major, his most recent major work is, and I'm sorry, doctor, I don't speak German, if no. you can uh, just say it. For, for those who are interested, who speak German, actually. Uh, Arabisch. Yeah, yeah, this is Alt-Süd-Arabische Inschriften uh, auf Holzstäbchen. This is, uh, this is, um, you know, um, these are text uh, these are texts on uh, palm leaf stalks. It's a new source uh, for uh, Arab history. Uh, good morning. Um, thanks, Rana, for the introduction. Um, yeah, my paper is dealing with the topic of uh, women in ancient Palestine. And uh, this is uh, very important in um, to develop approaches for decolonization uh, ancient history of Palestine. Um, so let me, yeah, the topics uh, of my paper is uh, just first an overview of historical sources we have the archaeological evidence, uh, Egyptian um, sources, Amarna Letta, biblical accounts, and um, local discoveries, uh, Canaanite, Aramaic, South Arabian inscription, and so on. So um, it's not enough to, um, to work on history of Palestine depending only on the biblical accounts. So, and then I have... Um, case studies to illustrate uh, history of women in ancient Palestine. The first one is a lawsuit from Tal al-Qadi, Hatsor, um, near Taperia uh, in the Galilee. Uh, and then the second um, case study is the oldest marriage contract from Palestine. Um, this is an Adumite uh, marriage uh, contract uh, uh, discovered in Tal Sandahanna Marisa near Beit Jibreen, west of Hebron. And then uh, we have uh, Canaanite, a list of uh, Canaanite women uh, mentioned in ancient South Arabian inscriptions. These were married to um, Minian, South Arabian, ancient Yemeni. Uh, merchants who were in Gaza. Uh, okay. So there is a problem in the women uh, studies and gender in Palestine. It's in general also in the ancient Near East and so that uh, the biblical archaeologists they don't care of the archaeological evidence, just very little. So they focus on the biblical accounts. Uh, and you have most of, most of the studies on women in ancient Palestine are the biblical narrative. So what we are trying here to develop is to depend on the archaeological uh, evidence. This is, I'll give you uh, just examples. Here is the king of Megiddo. And in front of him is the queen, and we have uh, uh, a music um, a group. So uh, just to, this is from the 13,300 BC. So we have a, a representation of women in many 
um, let me see, panels, uh, arts, uh, representation. Yeah, this is a close one, you can see. This is ivory discovered in Megiddo in the 30s and now belong to the uh, uh, Israel. Azib, Azib is a village north of Akka. Uh, so we have, really, we have uh, good uh, representative artifacts showing activities of women in everyday life. So here, uh, Ajin, uh, packing uh, for bread. And this is from the Calcolithic, this means the fourth millennium BC. Uh, and the Chan, if we compare the Chan, it's still continued until today in Palestine. Uh, just an example. This is the Chan. So. Uh, then, uh, among the artifacts, there are many artifacts, uh, terracotta figurines, maybe about 1,000. Um, some of them are difficult to distinguish between goddesses or women, um, but it is very important to just to, I mean, to check and to use this material for the writing the ancient history of uh, women. Uh, very important, there are many representation with music instruments. That means the women dominated the uh, music. This is the goddess of fertility, Ashira or maybe Anat. Uh, here is um, from Azib um, in near Akka with the music uh, instruments. Here you can see other uh, examples. And then, let me see. This is Oud from Bisan, Bechan, uh, discovered also in the 30s. Uh, all of this material are more or less uh, not common to the Palestinians. I mean, they, they took it, uh, put it in the Israeli uh, museum from the Palestine uh, Museum, Rockefeller. Uh, but uh, people, I mean, we have really a problem. We have, this is a Palestinian heritage. We, we have to know it, and even it's our right to take it back. I mean, this is very important. Um, the Egyptian sources, they mentioned women uh, a lot from uh, Palestine in texts and in uh, painting. This may be imp uh, important for, uh, for people who are interested um, on, uh, let me say, clothing, uh, women, and so on. This is 1900 BC. Uh, then I'll give you, this is an example of the Amarna letters. The Amarna letters are written in cuneiform, uh, Akkadian language, 14th century BC, and sent from uh, the rulers of the city-states in Palestine, Syria, Palestine, to the uh, pharaoh. Uh, this, this is very interesting. This is a, lit a letter written by the pharaoh himself and was prepared to be sent to the ruler of Gezer, or Tal Abu Shusha, Tal al Gezri, west of Jerusalem. Uh, important, sent me very beautiful women. And the cupkeeper, uh, there were uh, many of them from Palestine, and uh, also m music uh, orchestras. There were uh, many, we, we know from other sources that they were uh, in Egypt. But it's very interesting in the letter, if you see. Uh, yeah, if you do it with them, ah, oh, the king will, will say, excellent, yeah? This is uh, the text, uh, okay, uh, and then this is a proverb, a Canaanite proverb from Biblos uh, in uh, north of Beirut, as you know. Um, 
It's very interesting the relating of women with fertility. Yeah? For lack of a cultivator, my field is like a woman without husband. Uh, this is uh, a translation of the proverb. The fallacy of biblical archaeology. Um, I mean, this is, um, I just give a, a, a statistic. About 1,400 person names male uh, in the Old Testament, only 20, uh, 29 uh, are women. Then we have hundreds of seals. Uh, we have maybe about 35 uh, uh, of women. They belong to women. This means that they were involved in administration and so in the Iron Age, uh, Palestine. The fallacy is this seal, Le uh, Isabel. This seal was discovered somewhere um, of, of unknown place, but biblical archaeologists say, oh, this is the biblical Isabel. Mm. There is no reason. We have nothing which can belong to this to Isabel. So this is the fallacy, I say, of biblical archaeology. Case studies from Hatzor. So three men made a judgment against a woman uh, in the court of the city of Hatzor. Uh, the problem was um, a vineyard and uh, other gardens. Um, who decided in the court uh, was the king. And uh, these three men failed in getting success in the judgment, and the king decided for the woman. This is the 16th century BCE, written in a cuneiform, as you see. It's very interesting. This is the history of women in Palestine. It's, um, I mean, it's fine, uh, the biblical account, so, but it's not enough. Uh, he, this is the real history of women. So this is the first case. Uh, if you and we don't need to read it. Uh, but the name of the woman is Sumu uh, La Ilum. This is a Canaanite name, as I said, the 16th century uh, BC. And then uh, even after the judgment, nobody is allowed to raise again a judgment against this decision. If somebody wants to do it, he has to pay 200 uh, uh, shiklum. Uh, this is the silver weight uh, for the, this problem. So uh, just an, ex an example, a case study uh, three. Uh, this is an ostracon uh, from Tal Sandahanna, as I said, near Bejibrin, Marissa. It discovered at the beginning of the 90s. Uh, partly destroyed, but uh, uh, as I said, this is the oldest uh, contract in Palestine, and uh, the persons involved, according to the names, they are Edomites. Uh, here we see um, uh, the name Qaus Ram, Qaus Yada. Qaus was the national god of the Edomites. Uh, uh, Palestine was a cultural and linguistic diversity. So this is what we have to, to understand. South Palestine in the fourth century, fifth century, and later Hellenistic period are mostly Edomites uh, or Arab tribes. So it's uh, very important, uh, I mean, uh, such a document, to have such a document. Uh, the con and it is in details, there is an influence from Mesopotamia um, or Aramaic uh, tradition in that, but the family, the family is Edomite, yeah? I mean, this is the example, if you, here is, uh, again, if you want to have uh, a look on the translation. Um, I mean, even it's broken uh, in partly, uh, we uh, can understand uh, really the contract. Uh, so this is very important. Uh, discovered by uh, Israeli archaeologists, but since it's not Hebrew, according to their understanding, 
um, nobody take, um, took care of this uh, document. For us, it's very important. This is history of uh, Palestine. Uh, and as I said, the diversity of people and linguistic. The script is Aramaic, <coughs> uh, is Aramaic. Uh, but um, the whole text is uh, Edomite. Uh, this is the last part. Gaza was uh, a center for Arabian trade. And uh, if you see, you know, the incense road started in Yemen. And last station is Gaza. And um, uh, Gaza is mentioned uh, several times, in more than 40 times in the Sabaean or Menian inscriptions. Uh, the context is mostly trade, is the trade uh, route. Uh, however, um, merchants, rich merchants of the um, uh, Minian kingdom, especially, um, married women from Egypt, from North Arabia, from different places, uh, and they mention the woman, the name of the woman, uh, X, and then the place name where she fr from which place. Um, Gaza has in these lists more than half of the married women of the Manian kingdom came from Gaza. So I'll give you uh, examples uh, of that. Yeah, the date is about 300 uh, BC. Uh, let me, this is the place where they have been found. This is a civil registration in the kingdom of Ma'in, this is the temple, and they registered the name of the women um, on, on one of these uh, pillars. And uh, as I said, uh, very important are the, that they mentioned the names of the women. Most of the women from Gaza, the names are Phoenician Canaanite, and 300 uh, BC. Uh, was interested, this is in Arabic. They have been discovered in the 19th century, and um, until recently, maybe the 80s, people thought that, the, that these texts are s women who served service in the temple. Um, that means, uh, they called it Herodulin, Herodulin lists, so they are known um, I mean, uh, under this name, um, a very uh, well-known Palestinian scholar, he reinterpreted the, the text, and then you will see, I mean, this is, if you want to have a, a look where they, uh, the texts have been discovered. Uh, yeah. Okay. So the script, so you can see how does it look like, the, these inscriptions uh, that mention the women. And uh, this is the description uh, that they thought they are Heridulim, um, who, as I said, made a, a service in the temple, like in Babylon, and, and so on, and especially uh, sexual and so on. So that's uh, the idea uh, that, did, that they did that in the temple. Uh, things changed. Uh, yeah, things changed uh, after the interpretation of the Palestinian scholar Mahmoud Ghul. I'll uh, show. So this is three minutes. Okay, okay, yeah. Uh, the total amount is, um, as you see, um, seven, four, uh, the total, and more than half of them are from Gaza. Uh, yeah, this is an example. Uh, X, son of X, he paid uh, Sakraba Khasara, an Arabic Dafa al Makhasir, he. Um, yeah, yeah. So he paid the gift 
for the the proud, I mean for the pride, and then uh, paid the costs for the for for the the whole uh, marriage. Sakraba wa khasira. Just you know, uh, just to say that Yahmiil uh, so and so from uh, Al or Ahl so and so the family uh, in in Yemen. Uh, Sakraba Khasira Sagilat, this woman called Abraham, Ab F, uh, but uh, Ab, uh, here, Shams Ali. So, so, so this is a, a name of the woman, Shams Ali. Shams is, is high or something like that. The sun is high. These are the names of uh, the woman, Abraham, and so on. Uh, Salambo, Salambo is uh, well known. Uh, this is a Phoenician name from uh, Salambal. Uh, there was, a, I think, uh, a, f a very famous uh, uh, Roman, or what do you call it? Uh, yeah, novel. Uh, under the name Salambo uh, in, uh, in the West, in the 18th century. But this is the name of a woman from uh, Gaza. This is the bibliography, if you are interested. Uh, um, as I say, there is no comprehensive study on women in Palestine, ancient Palestine, uh, according to the uh, uh, archaeological and epigraphic evidence. So this is an approach, a contribution to rewrite the ancient history of Palestine. Thank you for your attention.